Still, it looks a lot better than it did, but this is bugging me down here. This this little issue right here. It's still, see how this highlight on this mana bobble is bright, getting really, really bright, but this one's perfect. Look at this. This one's nice and perfect. This is how it should be. They're like identical file. Like, I don't see how this is any different than that one. These are the same. Those are the same. Would that be any different? If I, did I, let, let's try this. Let's try true. Let's rebuild another time. In the meantime, did we change any code? Is anything, oh, oh, indeed. We did change some code. Okay, I see why. That's using that shader, so, oh, okay. That suddenly makes a lot of sense. Turn that off. Now it should be fine. Okay, but let's leave it off. <laughs> let's leave it off for a second so that we can see if that, that, um, DDS option did anything. Setting it back to true. I think it should be true by default, but I couldn't verify that with the documentation. I think I'm spending too long on this one little thing. Yeah, okay, we still have the issue on both both things. Okay, so yeah, this is nothing. This is not doing anything right here. This DDS weight by alpha equals true. Thing. There was one other option, not fast mid maps, but cluster fit. What's that? What's DDS cluster fit? Wait, is this on here? Oh, whoa, cluster fit. Nothing about cluster here. Yay, cluster fit. Once again, I guess it's worth a shot. I mean, we'll see what happens if we just add that. Cluster fit true. Did I type that right? DDS colon cluster fit equals true or false. Let's give this a, whir a whirl. The issue was we were running the, the shader, but um, huh, forgot to start building it. Go build. Build the way. Do your job, pipeline. All right, didn't change anything. Let's try cluster fit false. See if that makes any sort of difference whatsoever. Just uh, the reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to understand why. Why it's different on Mac versus Windows. If I can understand, it'll definitely improve my ability to solve issues like this in the future. But there comes a point where I'm spending so much time on something that it's just not worth it to keep exploring the issue. Which is where we've hit that point already, pretty much. So this is the last one. Okay, still we don't have any change on that. So none of the options here in the build.shell script did anything. So we're gonna just undo all that. And uh, I guess we could add a note. Not, no, no, let's not add a note. <laughs> okay, but this is where we're gonna turn the MP highlight, turn that off and uh, build it here here and make sure that all of our bobbles are how they should be. Those should be have no highlight. Those should have a nice highlight. Good. This should have no highlight. That should have a nice highlight. That looks great too. Okay, everything's good there. We're gonna rebuild one last time. Make sure that yep, okay, that's didn't change. Alright, we're gonna run it on Mac, we're gonna run it on Windows, take a few screenshots, prove that we fixed it all, and celebrate the fact that this bug is fixed. Oh, solved. Forever and ever. It'll, this is this bug will never come back again, I swear. Mark my words, bug gods. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I suddenly realized why that one's orange. Oh, because it's slightly brighter. All right, still last two. It's like, here we are. That there, one right over there too. Pair of these. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Wow. So here's what I was talking about, that little band. See how this little band is dark blue on here? And then here it's orange. Oh, that could be, might be able to be solved with the shader. PSUI is the thing that applies to color. Okay, we, we gotta go to blends.hlsl and apply to color. If our color, let's try something wild here, like color.a is is less than once. Yeah, we'll try it the easy easy way for now. Just if color a is less than one, then return from this apply to color method. Or actually, that's used in two places. So probably the better way to do it is like this. If out color dot a is greater than or equal to one, then apply this to color. Otherwise, don't apply the to color. Yeah. Oh, can sure uh, shaders get built and go over here. See what happens. If we, see if we change that orange bar into a nice dark blue bar. That would be great. Actually, oh, this means that it's not going to apply any coloring to it. Wow, damn. <laughs> Okay, well, another way we could fix this is to not even have that little bar. If we even need this, turn the whole thing off for a second. This looks a lot cleaner to me without it. See if what it looks like without that in the Mac version to start with. I may be going a little too far with this, but it's these little tiny touches that I'm trying to work on, especially right now, because the visual quality of this game I'm trying to improve, and this is part of it. Okay, you can you can see a tiny little bit of it's not as 3D. Oh, wait a second. Could be that the ring is a little bit too light of a color. What is this color here? 40, pretty dark, but it gets lightened up with the, we went full black. I mean, there it's full black, 20% opaque. I wonder if that'll make a difference. Let's find out. Oh, we forgot to build the sprite sheet. Dang, build that sprite sheet. Okay, looks nice and, what? Oh my God, it totally worked. Oh, nice. Finally looks better. Oh. 
Yes, so awesome. Oh man, wow, I'm so glad that worked. It was just getting that, that color value of this slightly below that threshold level where it, the shader colors it either dark blue or, or orange. Oh yes, it's so awesome. Okay, I love it. Let's just check it in. No more working on this, so great. Close that, close all this stuff. Okay, we can keep the UI shader the same. Blends, we change this back and let's get rid of this janky piece of code we didn't ever need. Get rid of that. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? This, we got a tiny bit of code change. Look, at, look how little code we've changed here, but such a big difference visually in my opinion. Okay, we're not running the shader on the HP highlight or the MP highlight and we've just a little bit of code to just enable that or disable that if we want. And we can close this and we can go here and commit all the art and sprites and what okay i'm gonna go where did i find this um there it is get windows version bubble shaders to be dark as matte Whoo! oh man what a relief what a relief finally these bobbles look good on windows ah next time a streamer plays this game or you play this game on windows or i play this game on windows Whoever plays this game on Windows, it's gonna look better. Yes, oh my god. Close this all, close this Windows stuff. This is eating up CPU like crazy. Close that. It's probably updating Windows and running a virus checker and everything it wants to do without any permission at all. Windows loves checking for viruses. It's like, hey, it's been a half an hour. Let's check for viruses again. Hey, he hasn't downloaded anything. He hasn't even connected to the internet. Let's, let's check for viruses again. Time to check for viruses, hey. Hey, it's 7.30 a.m. Time to check for viruses. Oh my god, it's already 9.15 a.m. We gotta check for viruses again. All right, let's start working on some fast stuff, huh? What do we got on it? Time is it? Date, we got time. Reduce the gold and the pillars a bit. So easy, it's such a fast thing. Um, So fast, I'm, I don't know exactly where to go. Oh, create block pillar, duh. And where's something where we choose how much gold? Oh, there it is, do gold. What I'm trying to, I'm, I'm not talking about how much gold is in a single pillar, but how many pillars actually have gold. And that is currently 10% right now. We've got 100 out of 1,000. Okay, we want to reduce this just a little bit, right? Not too much. Let's Let's try 70% instead of a hunt. Well, 7% instead of 10%. Okay, I'm not even checking it. Okay, I'll check it once. <laughs> this is totally gonna take an extra minute here. I love playing this little game where I try and make all the things I do as fast as possible because, dude, I'm my list is so many hundreds and hundreds of things long. It's really fun when I get like 20 or 20 or more done in a day. It's like, oh my god, yeah, I'm kicking butt. Okay, what did that do? There's some gold. Oh yeah, gold. Cool, I just reduced the slightly. Right, okay, that's good enough. Sweet, check it in. Another one bites the dust. All right, let's make the ground darker on the minimap for more contrast. So easy. This is in a function called render minimap. And there's something about the ground color. Is this it right here, ground color? If I just change that, is that it? Is that all we have to do? So it goes 4F and 2F for the ground color and the rock color. I guess we should probably take a screenshot first before we do anything else. Just to uh, confirm that we actually did what we were trying to do here. So let's go run around this dungeon a little bit. Take a screenshot, looking good. Okay, take this down to two and this one to one. Oh, let's try one. Line color, erosion color, exit color, wall color, email, fine. And empty is totally black. Aha, okay, I definitely did the trick. And we can still see a difference between a darkened room and a not darkened room, that's good. Yeah, this looks fine. Darker version, okay. Dark enough, well, that's the question. I think it is. Look how bright the, uh, the, yeah, okay. Let's take a screenshot. Let's get rid of all these other screenshots we don't need anymore. Looking good. More contrast on the mini map. Nice thing on the eyes when you're playing the game, looking over, using your peripheral vision to check the mini map and you're like, it's just easier if it's more contrast. Oh, great. The, when the portal is empty on the ship, make it gray instead of colored. So easy. Okay, we need to go to the ship. Uh, that's Z, uh, negative one. And we need this little thing. Oh, let's close, close a few things here. That and that, we don't need those. Okay, good. And, oh, we got a restart magic of voxel. It's so fast again. And uh, this thing is called checkpoint portal off, I believe. Check, point portal off. That's it, bam. Color right here, saturation out of that. Make it a little darker. Make it only a single pick. Oh, you know what, I've checked that before. Okay, so we should have no checkpoint here. No, we do have a checkpoint in this one. There's the checkpoint. Oh, we also want, we want a checkpoint on, and then checkpoint, we also want the checkpoint portal to have like a little glowing version of that underneath it when, no, we can go ahead and put it here. So basically, give this a little render component, make this on, copy it, portal off to checkpoint portal on. Oops. Uh, okay, on. Go ahead and save that. This one changes color to a nice, brightly saturated something, something. Really nice value, too. Imagine something like that would look good. Ooh, this might be the wrong color, but we'll see. 
I think I see what's going on here. In set ship block, got a little thing where it finds the checkpoint down. There's another thing where we can change the position of, uh, yeah, there it is. I think it just adds Z. Yeah, pause not add Z, that's all, right? Add some data site. Take away, yeah, yeah, okay. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Let's try this, pause dot add Z, negative six. I want this, this ground block to sit down a little bit. It's like too high. Better, it's a lot better. Yeah, now it's at the right height. You come up these stairs and it's boom, it's right there. This looks good. Okay, the checkpoint portal itself should be a little higher in the air. And then this, the, the object on the ground, the checkpoint portal thing, needs to be differently colored. In fact, let's start with that. Let's start with this uh, being, being darker. Um, let's start with the darkest we've got there Make that dark and then we also want to do these pfft, whole things should just be dark shoot or something like maybe let's see what that looks like uh huh and this whole thing should be a little higher up in the air like offset zero zero five let's try eight. Oh, okay the, if that's offset by eight we have to do negative eight for this guy yo sushi gamers how you doing i think this should be bright bright oh good to hear yeah things are great here too Another day in paradise, making the making my video games, loving what I do. Hey man, I checked out your stream the other day. Uh, not the live stream, but one of your recordings, and I loved it. I was having such a good time singing. Oh man, it's just filling my heart with with wonderful energies. I really enjoyed your your stream vod. Oh, yeah, sort of a bright color there. That's fine. Stuff. Let's use this checkpoint portal to do our thing. Okay. So those voxels are junky, but we're gonna be working on that in some other stream. Okay, that's good. Sweet. Yeah, you got it. Thanks for. Dude, thank you for doing what you do. You lifted my heart up. Appreciate it. You you do it all the time, don't you? Lifting people's hearts up. I imagine you do. I imagine I imagine you making people's lives better wherever you go. That to be that color. This to like that, maybe. Okay, let's see what it looks like without a checkpoint. So we need to turn our checkpoint off. We don't have a checkpoint. No, no checkpoint. No checkpoint for you. Oh, we still have a checkpoint. <laughs> Why? Why? Um. Oh, does it just check key name? Not the whether you have the value. Oh, oh, that's kind of a bit off little bit a little bit a little bit not what it should be but okay whatever there this looks better all of that looks better and i like the fact that it looks better let's close yeah well we spent too long on this but it's all right check that in ba -ba 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 bam oh lean up lean that up lean oh and get add got get add that guy right there and then Stuff. Okay, here's another thing. When we see this dark seed scene, first of all, the art really needs improving. But second of all, it takes too long. You see this sort of this sort of transition scene as you go from dungeon to dungeon or floor to floor. You take the elevator, and there's this scene that plays. It shows you what floor you're on. Too long. It's like. It takes so long that you don't want to go back. So first of all, I'm going to make it so that if you're going, if you're descending, going back to a dungeon, it won't show you that scene. Secondly, if you have, if you've already been to that level, it won't play it. So basically it'll go, it won't play this transition scene if you've already been to that dungeon. In fact, we can just do it that way. Just check if they, we've been to the dungeon. So it's a function called dungeon transition and we're calling it, I think in world.cpp. So let's just search our grab our code base real quick but -ba boom grip the code base there we are boom this is where it calls it if we do the transition and transition duration so yeah we're gonna turn off the transition if um we make a little function called do do world transition yeah and we're we'll, okay we're gonna set this like this uh set it up using the logic we already have so static bool do world transition can't just read my mind okay there we go do world transition up up and we got the oh we need to patch the mission our next mode so now let's do const mission and Pass that in. So we've got two little predicates at the beginning. If mission up mode is not equal to dungeon or skip scenes, then return false. Is that? Oh, okay. Turn true. This up here. Do world transition mission. Yep. Looking good. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and inspect the player's um, tokens. Okay. So we're going to we need to get the player somehow. Do we, do we already have a player? Probably do. Oh, right. It's just this. Okay. Auto ref E equals and get save player and we're gonna look through all the players tokens looking for we're gonna parse all the tokens too so this is we, we code that parses all the tokens in use checkpoint that goes through goes oh filter checkpoint data is the thing it's looking through all the things for auto rep parent tokens parse the token and blah 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 this is kind of like the, the loop what we're looking for so just went there and found it so we didn't have to do it again so we're looking at e dot player dot tokens we're going through each one of them and parsing them and we've got a v no we've got a string key 
and a V3 map pog. That needs to be zero, zero, maybe. To set it to be integer mode. Okay, then we've got if parsed and map pause.z is greater than or equal to mission dot index. We need a const int next dungeon index. I'm not sure what that, where we're gonna get that from. So we're gonna set that to zero for now. And then we're gonna do next dungeon index here. And if, so if we find any key, any token within the player's tokens where their map position is is greater than or equal to the dungeon that we're going to, then returning false and saying that basically we've already been there. We have some map token or a fact maybe we opened up a door or did anything on the, the floor that we're going to. That'll be a good indicator. Where do we get the dungeon index from? Oh, I remember. It's in clear world. Clear world goes and says previous dungeon index and then dungeon index equals next dungeon index, right? We're in dungeon. Yep. Next dungeon. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So we need, this is actually next dungeon index. I think next dungeon index. I think that's right. Okay. Let's test this out. We're actually going to need to debug the code because um, I want to make sure this works right. So we're going to be starting at the ship, which is these negative one. And we're going to go into here and set a breakpoint whenever this is called. And we'll see what it is about the next dungeon index. That's the part I'm, I'm curious about. The next dungeon index. Is that correct? Am I using that right? That variable needs to be inspected live while we're debugging to make sure it's working, especially when we go from the ship to the dungeons and then also we'll check from going from a single one floor to another in the dungeons and we'll also have to kind of check like going backwards in the dungeons oh what happened i just realized something too if world get mode world is mode c mode ship then we always do true we always want to do this transition if we're going from the ship to the dungeons <clears throat> but oh we have skip scenes on dang it oh, we gotta fire up the debugger again dang scene zero we gotta make sure that's zero to, for all this to actually function Oh, also, my player has a lot of Z data already. Okay, yeah. Do it, because we're on the ship. Here's the scene I'm talking about. We want to not do this if we've already been to the dungeon floor that we're going... Whoa, what happened there? Oh, it might have had to do with the fact that we were debugging. Okay. Okay, here we are. Let's skip to the next dungeon. And we, um... Neither of those apply. But now we can go through the dun Oh, next dungeon index. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's one. That's right. Okay, that's what it should be. And parse. There, I found it at key bow. We already have attained the bow at a dungeon. Oh, no, that needs to be equals, not... Okay, that needs to be... It's right here. It needs to be equal. Okay, let's continue debugging. See if we can catch anything else. I think my character got bored while he was on the elevator. And he lifted up his sword. That was funny. Okay, we're going to descend back to the floor before. And look at what our next mode is. Or next dungeon. Nice dungeon zero. Great, that's what it should be. It's looking good. Okay, we've debugged, now we can um, check it one last time. I'm gonna take a quick break, be right back though. All right, so now we're gonna be testing if this works. Uh, first, let's go into our player's data. And we're gonna start the player on the ship. That's negative one, but then get rid of all of our tokens existing, everything. Get rid of this whole run. We save this first run one. Oh, and the seed, we need the seed. That seed, keep the first run and um, everything else I need. Okay, let's just test this out experientially. No debugging, just playing. Okay, we should we should see it here. Man, I gotta make this art better. This embarrasses me just looking at it every time. <laughs> this is weird anti-aliasing effects going on, and the whole scene doesn't look very. It's not gelling, but uh, yeah, that'll get better. Okay, so here we are at this one. We can't descend from here, but if we ascend, we should see the scene again because we have not been to this floor yet. And um, let's descend, and we should not see the scene because we've already been to this floor. We have uh, we should have some map tokens. Yeah, good. We just went straight here. No scene. Great. Okay, let's go back to the scene, this place. We should also have no scene because we've already been to this floor. Good stuff. Awesome. Okay, and then here we'll, we'll go to the next level. Let's actually go to the next level by walking to the exit. Good. We see the scene again. Awesome. That's all I wanted to do. So basically what this makes it as if you're going fast, you're playing through this, this game fast, and you're like, you know, you're having a fun time. Um, you're no longer limited by having to wait through that scene if you've already been to one of those floors. So just saves you a time as a player. Cool. Awesome. How much time do we got left here? Time? Okay, we're gonna move the feedback to the main menu so it doesn't feel like it's over after you die. So this, there's this prompt where it says, hey, do you want to give us some feedback? It happens every time you die or win. 
Um, I think it's after stats, after victory stats. I didn't see it, okay. It's called menu, menu survey. That's what it is, menu message survey. Okay, where is this called from? Nowhere? <laughs> what? I'm missing something here, huh? Oh, there it is, okay. I searched with a, a opening parentheses and that, that didn't allow these little choices and stuff right here. Under system, let's do one of these. It's not this, it's not, not in message survey. Oh, menu stats after. Ah, and if do survey. Okay, all right, let's set that to false. And then we also want to do a, a put a put a message on the main menu so we can actually get to this if we want to. And uh, menu main, there's our wish list one. It's kind of like this. We're gonna call this menu survey. Goes hook up um, a localized string for that. We get rid of that one string. We didn't need that anymore. And we can go to C dot, uh, we don't need to do on press. We just need on forward goes to menu message survey. All right. Um, we're gonna skip the menu, so but we're gonna be back to it later. Okay, yeah, let's just jump into the game, die, make sure it doesn't show that prompt. Then we can quit back to the main menu and see if it uh, is also looks all right there with the leave feedback button. Well, what happens if you die? Well, it's, oh, it stops eroding, okay. Never tried that before. Good, we got a little stats and then it takes us back to the ship. Yeah, that's much smoother. Before it was too much of a it felt like the game was over when you saw this message saying, hey, take this survey. Okay, let's go here to the main menu. Let's see how this looks. Leave feedback. Oh, what happened there? That was weird. Okay, it needs to be further down in its Y position. I guess leave feedback is, hmm, this is all right. Okay, in menus, there's, I think it used to be an empty choice. Oh, there still is. Why am I not just using the Y height? This align height per M. Oh, we could just use a pause. So we're using height per M. We're gonna turn off this menu align. We got left one, height one. Oh yeah, we do need this something. Uh, I'm not sure what yet though. Side 1.9, height per M. And then every one of our, choices we don't need to do an empty choice anymore get rid of that and do this c dot pause equals pause and pause dot y minus equals height per do this for every one of the choices get rid of this align code and that should be better except that we don't we're not sure we're the right y height to use oh we should not skip the menu so we can quickly see how this looks it's actually not too bad at 0.19 try a little lower though this is good this is a good flowing thing this helps the game feel like you're supposed to go quick quickly from dying to straight back to the ship so you realize that the game's not over. I noticed this while some streamers were playing that it's like they once they saw that screen they thought oh it's over. I'm not, I don't get a continue or anything, and it's a little bit too low. So that was 1.9, we went to 0 0.9, it was a bit too much. Let's go 1.5. 1, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Perfect, I love it. So many fives, are there five fives? Five fives. That's all I wanted today. This has made my whole day right there, putting five fives in there. What could be better? High five, I'd put five fives in. All I need is a character named Fives. Five fives, he always does. Huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's looking good, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh, we also need this though. Oh, we need to go make if, if we say maybe yeah, maybe later menu message survey this didn't do the right thing once we were uh, done i think doing a little link to survey oh this should be the mac okay and menu survey no let's change that to the words back and um here we've got nothing on press but on oh on tiktok does no longer does after victory stats we we, we want to do um no, yeah we want to do this we want to go c dot on forward equals menu Menus, menu main. Both of these still looks. Actually, let's see how that function we're trying to do here. Yeah, check out these image formats. Uh, when it opens up Chrome, there's always a window in the back, so it's right there. Yep, there it is. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Close Chrome. That looks great. I love it. We got a little feedback button on the main menu now. And that should be instead of 0.155. Oh, no, the 555 is so perfect. I can't change it. I can't change it. Leave it alone, Nat. Okay, here we are. We've changed the way that the main menu organizes the choices by height and then we change the way the feedback menu works and we change it so it doesn't prompt you for feedback every time you die basically so ah this is good good stuff move the feedback to the main menu Ugh, copy copy that copy that okay uh, what, uh, let's try this too. Disable charge on the ship. For some reason you can charge while you're on the ship if you have the charge ability. Like if you used a checkpoint this up. So ability, we've got ability blade. Let's do like ability blink and ability charge. And we load up to the ship with the checkpoint. Doesn't matter where it is. Actually, we didn't even really need the checkpoint. Oh, let's get rid of, um, we don't need to, we can skip the menu. Do that, the menu. Oh, we, not this dungeon. The running from everything dungeon. A little bit not what we need right now. Oh, we need, oh shoot, we need Z negative one. Shoot. 
So we got the blade. Oh, we don't have our blink. That's good. But see, we can charge because we have the blade. Ah, uh, I, I get it. Is there a use charge button? Yeah, and it's yeah, not charge the same button. I think all we need to do is just set um, world is mode, see mode, ship. That just don't allow charge. I hope this works. That'll be a quick fix. Okay, we can turn on skip scenes again. Cool. I can use my um, F key to use the blade, but I can't use my charge button. Meant to be used right there. Okay, and let's let's use this checkpoint portal. Take us into the world, and um, we should have the charge ability. Good. Nice. Really great solution. This little two lines of code did the trick. I love it. We've disabled charge on the ship. How much time do we got? Past the time. I do really want to do this one, but we're gonna have to wait. Man, my my belly is grumbling with hunger. I'm about to put some food right in my mouth. Just like this. Food in my mouth. Okay, so thanks for watching this stream person out there watching the stream. Um, look at this. We got some things done, especially this thing right here. This is such a such a huge thing. This is a, I'm gonna go celebrate this victory once more. This was an issue we had for months in this video game, but here's what it looked like before. Not quite, but this is kind of what it looked like, right? This is about the level of gray that it should have been. You can see up here in the top right where what the uh, level of gray is. Let's turn this turn this back to uh, okay, here we go. So look at this in the top. Right Right there, the word says B. We've got a brightness of 73% in this bobble, right? That's about 75% gray. And we turn on the Windows version, and look at this, brightness 95. So such a weird little issue. But it turned out to be the that the foreground sprite, these little, this little brown thing right here, had a slight, a very, very slightly open opaque circle right here just somehow turning bright on windows and not on mac and after fixing that we've got it all the way back to how it should be here's how it looks on mac and here's how it looks on windows and we even got one more little fix where we turn this little orange uh like line right here that's representing the 3d-ness of this bobble that now is actually dark blue like it is here on the Mac version. That's still nice, this little darker color. So that this they actually look identical now, which is such a big victory. So glad this is fixed. So that was probably one of my favorite things of the whole day, actually getting this done. Man, it just feels such a big relief to finally have that fixed because this is a big part of the visual quality of the game, seeing these little bobbles look about right. So, so that's it. Hey, uh, person, thanks for watching the stream, and uh, we'll catch you next Wednesday with another stream from the person that you're watching the stream from whose name is wizard foo thanks a lot cheers everybody we'll see you